It takes a lot of people to help one artist get out of Afghanistan safely. Ahmad Fanous was a well-known singer and TV personality. Before the Taliban took over, he was a judge and performer on an American Idol-style show called Afghan Star. The Taliban has banned music across the country. At first, Fanous didn't leave his home. Then, he says, he received a threatening letter from the Taliban, accusing him and his family members for being infidels for making music. His wife and 18-year-old son Mehran, a violinist, had gone to India. Another son, 25-year-old pianist Telem Fanous, was in New York. Worried about his father, Elam asked Leslie Rosenthal, the COO of the Juilliard School, if she could help her father. And she really activated her contacts, Elam tells NPR. Rosenthal found out that the TV network behind Afghan Star was partly owned by the Fox Corporation. She reached out to the network, and they were able to evacuate him and my sister with her family with some of the Fox journalists, says Ellen. In late October 2021, the elder Fanous made it to New York. It was the first time had seen Elam in five years. The organization Artistic Freedom Initiative, AFI, helped Fanous find housing and a job teaching at the new school. Last year, Maron was given a full scholarship to study music at Indiana University. After years apart, Ahmad Fanous and his sons performed together for the first time last May. Speaking in Dari, Ahmad Fanous says he's grateful to all of the people who helped him and his family flee Afghanistan. But Hess concerned about the musicians in his band that he left behind. He knew them for over 20 years, Elam translates, they were like basically brothers and now Hess apart from them. Fanous says none of them have been able to leave.